Welcome back. So we're actually right now, we just made it so that we can actually see who's logged in and we can also see the sign in sign out button and we can actually also log in, but it's not working when we click the log out right now. So we need to fix that. So it also works when we actually click the button. So let's do that now. The first thing I see is when I go into the auth service that we are still using the local storage here and we do not want to do that because we're not saving anything locally anymore. Everything is being passed on to the Angular Fire service here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to return an observable again. Now, again, this might not be necessary. Um, I'm kind of considering not doing this, but I really like to have the same flow in all of my different um, things in the service here where the login returns an observable, this guy. So everyone returns an observable so I know what to do when I get something back from the log actually. Uh, sorry, the auth service. But it's, it's really up to you. You could also return just a promise as it is. Let me show what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do pretty much the same thing as here. We're going to start out by actually getting a promise because this service right now is a promise. So I'll grab a promise from this.af.auth.logout. There's a promise returned here. Now this promise, I'm going to wrap that like here into an observable, but the difference between this guy and this guy is the promise here doesn't return anything actually uh, when it's done. It's just void, it doesn't tell you anything. It just tells you it's done. It doesn't return any value. So now we created the logout, so it should actually work. Let's try and go to our toolbar component now, because here we're actually, as you can see, we're actually right now just navigating. We're not doing anything. And that's because before we were actually doing the login directly inside the constructor, inside our login view component, or the login component right here. Now I'm going to remove that. Bye-bye. We can keep it there for later if you want to, but I feel that when we go into the login component, we shouldn't just log out automatically. That's a weird behavior. We should probably just say you're already logged in or something like that and then redirect them back. We'll figure that out later. But right now let's bring the login in here instead. So this.auth.logout. And notice I, I know every time I, I really have a good idea. Just like here I know what to call next. I'm going to call the subscribe of course. <clears throat> and here the subscribe is going to return nothing. There we go. And then I'm going to do equals bigger than. Also to show you this, how you actually use a thing when it's not returning anything. And here when it's logged in, I'm just going to re uh, locked out, then I'm just going to redirect you to the login page. So it's pretty much the same thing, right? I just wrap it inside uh, the subscribe right here to actually also log out. Let's see if it works. So now we have, we're locked in and we will try to sign out. And it seems that we are signed out right now. Um, let's just go back to the page and it says sign in now. So it seems that I'm really signed out right now. Going back and trying to log in here, <clears throat> just to see we didn't break that. Now we are logged in. So now the login also works. Let's have a look at the users when we actually don't have access for them and how we can make sure that it doesn't explode like it did earlier. See you next time.